First, we need to introduce the notion of partitions. Let S be a set. A partition of S is a collection of subsets S1, S2 up to SK of S, such that each element of S lies in exactly one of S1, S2 up to SK. There are three implications. The first one is that if we take the union of S1, S2 up to SK, it will be equal to the whole set S. Secondly, the intersection of SI and SJ is empty whenever i is not equal to j. In other words, the subsets are pairwise disjoint. Third, for all elements x in S, there exists a unique i in the set from 1 to k such that x lies in the set Si. This is just the definition of a partition written in mathematical language. We say that a partition is an ordered partition if the subsets S1, S2, up to SK are ordered. For example, if S is the set containing the numbers 1 to 8, then a collection of three subsets, the first one containing the numbers 1 to 4, the second containing 5 and 6, and the third containing 7 and 8, is a partition of S. And it is a different ordered partition of S from the collection of three subsets, one containing the elements 1 to 4, the second containing the elements 7 and 8, and the third containing the elements 5 and 6. Now, let S be a set of size n, and S1, S2, up to Sk be a partition of S of sizes R1, R2, up to Rk, respectively. This implies that R1 plus R2 plus all the way to Rk equals n. We want to find the number of ordered partitions of such kind. We use the following to denote the number of such partitions, which is a large bracket with n at the top and r1 up to rk at the bottom, we are going to find the number of permutations of the n elements of S using the following steps. Firstly, we choose an ordered partition of the above kind. The number of ways to do so is exactly the number of ordered partitions, which is the number that we want to find. As the second step, we permute the elements of S1 and the number of ways to do so is R1 factorial. Step 3. We permute the elements of S2, and the number of ways to do so is R2 factorial. Similarly, we permute the elements of each subset until the k plus first step, where we permute the elements of Sk, and the number of ways to do so is Rk factorial. By multiplication principle, the number of permutations of the n elements of S, which we know is n factorial, is the product of the number of ways in each step. Therefore, we can write down the equality n factorial equals the number of partitions times r1 factorial, r2 factorial, up to rk factorial. After rearranging, we see that the number of partitions equals n factorial divided by the product of R1 factorial, R2 factorial, up to Rk factorial. We also observe that the number of partitions into two subsets, one with size R and the other with size n minus R, equals the binomial coefficient n choose R. Let's look at an example. Suppose nine students are to be assigned to three projects, S1, S2, and S3, of sizes 4, 2, and 3, respectively. In how many ways can we do this? Well, the number of ways to do so is exactly the number of ordered partitions of the nine students into three subsets of sizes 4, 2, and 3, respectively. This equals 9 factorial divided by the product of 4 factorial, 2 factorial, and 3 factorial. The answer is 1,260. Now, let's introduce the multinomial theorem. It states that if we have real numbers x1 up to xk and a positive integer n, then the sum of x1 up to xk raised to the power n equals the sum of the terms 
x1 to the r1 up to xk to the rk multiplied by the number of ordered partitions of subset sizes r1 up to rk, where ri is non-negative and the sum of r1 up to rk equals n. Also, r1 up to rk are integers from 0 up to n. The proof of this result is very similar to the proof used in the binomial theorem. We first expand the left-hand side into a product of n terms, where each term is the sum from x1 up to xk. We observe that all the terms in the expansion are of the form x1 to the r1 up to xk to the rk. For each choice of r1 up to rk, in order to get x1 to the r1 up to xk to the rk, we have to choose x1 from r1 of the brackets, x2 from r2 of the brackets, until we choose xk from the remaining rk brackets. In other words, the coefficient of x1 to the r1 up to xk to the rk is the number of partitions of n into subsets of sizes r1 up to rk, and this completes the proof. Consequently, the number of ordered partitions is also called the multinomial coefficients. Let's look at an example where we want to compute the constant term in the expansion of x plus y plus z plus 1 over xyz raised to the power n. The general term is the number of partitions of n into subsets of size r1, r2, r3, and r4 times x to the r1, y to the r2, z to the r3 times 1 over xyz raised to the r4. We can rewrite this as the number of partitions times x to the r1 minus r4 times y to the r2 minus r4 times z to the r3 minus r4, where r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 equals n. So we have a constant term when the powers of all the variables are zero. In other words, r1 minus r4 equals r2 minus r4 equals r3 minus r4 equals zero. This means that r1 equals r2 equals r3 equals r4, and they are all equal to n over 4, since their sum is equal to n. Hence, the constant term is 0 if 4 does not divide n, and is equal to the number of partitions of n into subsets of sizes n over 4 if 4 divides n.